What's up guys, it's European Coffee Trip and in this video we will show you how to brew great cup of coffee using mocha pot. Mocha pot is a coffee maker that you can find in most households all around the world. It was designed and developed in 1933 and since 1950s it's an icon, especially in Europe and especially in the southern countries. Myself, I was introduced to coffee in Spain during my studies and after I came back I actually brought one mocha pot with me and since then I tried to learn more about the coffee. Well, the problem with mocha pot is that the taste you get out of this coffee maker is usually associated with bitterness and it feels dirty. So the specialty coffee community rather prefer to not use it for brewing their delicious coffee. But truth be told, the main reasons are not really the method but rather the coffee you are using and also how clean you keep your machine. So in this video, we'll try to break several myths about mocha pot and show you how to brew a great cup of coffee using mocha pot. First thing you need to do is to get a freshly roasted coffee and you need to grind it just before brewing. That's a very important step and the grind size it should be way coarser than the espresso so it's rather a drip coffee grind size so this is the, the important thing once you grind your coffee you fill the basket you don't push it down you don't temp it just make sure that it's level and you are done next thing is water so you don't use a temperature room water or cold water you need a hot water so the coffee is not in contact with water for too long that can result in an unpleasant taste of coffee when you have a water so you pour it into the bottom part of a mocha pot right below the valve you can see there so this is the measurement for how much water you need to use then you top it up with the coffee basket and because the bottom part is now hot so you use a towel and screw two parts together and then you put it on a stove or in our case on a burner that will help us to really uh, prepare the coffee so this is actually one of the advantages of the mocha pot so then the pressure inside the mocha pot actually pushes the coffee up and you start to see how it flows into the top part of the mocha pot and you have to observe, you have to follow it because when you start hearing the bubbling and uh, the noise, so it's right time to take it out of the heat and even better, cool it down with a wet towel or under the running water. That way you stop the extraction and your coffee is ready straight away. Then you pour it into your favorite coffee cup and you are done, you have a great cup of coffee. As I told you, one of the biggest problems with mocha pot is the way people clean it and actually probably that they don't clean it or don't clean it enough because not only that uh, all three parts should be clean from the side that you see, that's kind of obvious and you shouldn't really see the dirt on the neither part. But what I didn't know <laughs> quite recently is that you have to or you should actually take apart also the seal and the filter from the bottom of the, of the top part of the mocha pot. And be probably surprised when you do it for the very first time what is in your mocha pot. But similar to the espresso machine, you need to clean all the oils and all the ground coffee that actually get into the ceiling and get into the inside of the filtering system. So that's very important and you should do it actually after every single brewing of mocha pot. And this way you should have a tasty coffee every single time. So we hope that you learned something new about brewing coffee with mocha pots and probably you will try it yourself at home. You should! Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe and we will see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.